Good day everyone and welcome back to this month's episode of SCP Summarize, taking a look at SCPs 500 to 599. Now real quick, remember to check back next month when the next When Day Breaks video is coming out. This one is set in Ikea. Now, expect implied violence and death and all manner of weird stuff. And without further ado, let's begin. The following data release has been authorised by the following council members and administration staff. SCP-500 Panacea SCP-500 are a bottle of pills that will cure any disease. Even subjects in advanced stages of a disease will make a full recovery. Despite exhaustive testing, the pills cannot be replicated. SCP-501 Monk's Greed SCP-501 is a plain dollar bill that gives off an amber hue. Direct observation of the bill will cause the person viewing it to try and acquire it by any means possible, even if it means harming themselves or others. If they are unable to acquire it, they will remove all their clothes and body hair before sitting in a lotus position. They will not move from this position and eventually die from dehydration. SCP-502 The Surrogate Heart SCP-502 is a small cardboard box that can function as any replacement organ. Simply writing heart or liver on the box, for example, will result in the box changing its form. In the case of a heart, chambers will appear inside and holes will open up for arteries and veins to be inserted through. SCP-503 The Luckiest Man in the World SCP-503 is a 63-year-old Caucasian male. SCP-503 demonstrates a remarkable proclivity towards short-term good fortune and long-term misfortune. Firing a gun at him will cause it to miss or misfire. He has survived car crashes, falling out of a building, and several suicide attempts to name a few. However, all of his family have died, including his three previous wives and all of his ten children. SCP-504 Critical Tomatoes SCP-504 are a species of tomato. When a poor attempt at humour is made verbally within human hearing range of SCP-504, they will detach from the vine and accelerate towards the person who made the joke. In one test, the SCP-504 specimen broke the sound barrier and killed the D-class. SCP-505 Ink Stain SCP-505 is a fountain pen that constantly produces ink. The ink itself is self-replicating and will spread across all non-absorbent surfaces at a variable rate. Animal contact will result in the ink replicating over the body before entering the body and causing chemical poisoning. If the ink were to come into contact with any part of the water table, it would constitute an NK class end of the world scenario. SCP-506 Instant Growing Plants SCP-506 is a species of food plant. It will grow rapidly out of any organic substance, including human flesh. It grows to full size in a matter of minutes and will drain the substance of all nutrients in the process. SCP-507 Reluctant Dimension Hopper SCP-507 is a Caucasian male who will randomly teleport to another dimension before teleporting back to our own. The duration between teleportation events is random, as too is the destination. SCP-508 Random Dot Stereogram SCP-508 appears to be a random dot stereogram poster. Viewing the poster will result in a variety of outcomes. Extensive testing has resulted in one D-class seeing a reflection of themselves, another saw into a woman's bedroom, and another managed to somehow leap through the poster to an unknown location. SCP-509 Men are pigs SCP-509 is two separate buildings, a sauna and a smokehouse. If a person enters the sauna, it will seal itself and smoke will begin to fill it. Sometime later, the smoke will clear and the sauna will become accessible again. All humans that were present in the sauna will be replaced with cured pig carcasses. 
The smokehouse works the other way around. Placing a pig carcass in the smokehouse will undergo the same process, but the carcasses will be replaced with new humans. SCP-510 Soft Death SCP-510 is a form of microorganism currently viewed as a mold or virus. If it detects the delta waves of a sleeping human, it will infect any nearby organisms. The infection will slowly convert the entire human into a pillow-like substance. The human subjects will fall into a coma for the process. Once the human has been converted, it will break down to create more SCP-510 spores. SCP-511 Basement Cats SCP-511 is an organic mass in the form of a very large cat. It is made up of various corpses of rotting cats, rodents, insects and more. An SCP-511 specimen usually has several extra limbs, mouths and eyes. A colony of feral emaciated domesticated cats are associated with SCP-511. Any that die are incorporated into the SCP-511 mass. SCP-512 Gravity Nullifying Umbrella SCP-512 is a standard umbrella. When opened and held above a person's head, it will suspend and deflect all incoming objects and rainwater in a rough dome shape. However, the risk of sustaining a lightning strike during severe weather is greatly enhanced. SCP-513 A Cowbell SCP-513 is an unremarkable rusty cowbell. When a person rings it, anyone within audible range will begin to feel extreme levels of paranoia. Exposed victims will begin sensing a presence before seeing an unknown humanoid in mirrors and when opening doors. This humanoid will continue to stalk exposed victims resulting in increased levels of paranoia and sleep deprivation. Victims will ultimately commit suicide. SCP-514 A Flock of Doves SCP-514 are a flock of doves that produce an effect that renders all weaponry ineffective and suppresses all violent emotions. Firearms will jam, explosives will be rendered inert, and melee weapons will decay into dust. Human exposure will cause the humans to feel calm and content. SCP-515 Sleeper SCP-515 is an unconscious teenage boy. If he so much as twitches a finger, a number of asteroids will begin heading towards Earth. The duration and speed of which is determined by the longevity and severity of the boy's movements. As such, the boy has been completely immobilized and several of his bones have been deliberately broken to inhibit movement. If the boy dies, the effect will transfer to another random human. SCP-516 Intelligent Tank SCP-516 is a standard model T-55 main battle tank. When loaded with the correct ammunition, it will engage and destroy any target it deems as a threat to its continued existence, though those who are not a threat or are out of range are ignored. SCP-516 can be operated manually, but will automatically jam in an attempt to reduce collateral damage if the user attempts to engage any unarmed humans. SCP-517 Grammy Nose SCP-517 is a fortune-telling machine that has been disconnected from its original power source. SCP-517 will choose a new target by activating when a human walks by it. The process is random. It will then dispense a fortune card and deactivate. The following morning, a creature made of several arms will attack and beat the target into a pulp over the course of several hours. SCP-518 The Transinformational Tomb of Asa Rutledge SCP-518 is the burial site of an unknown individual. It is a small unpopulated collection of buildings that are arranged in a circular fashion. SCP-518-1 is the last will and testament of said individual. When it is read, the arrangement of the buildings and the local topography will change. SCP-519 Cheeky Phone Booth 
SCP-519 is a phone booth. A voice will speak out of the receiver asking for the correspondent's name and number. When a connection is established, both parties will never hear the other. The voice will act as a go-between and tell the listener what the speaker said. The voice will often comment profusely on the intent of either speakers, and even mock the user in a devil angel on the shoulder fashion. SCP-520 Knife Switch SCP-520-1 and-2 are a pair of large quadruple knife switches. When connected to an electrical circuit, it will function as an on and off switch for a random electrical device within 10 meters. The chosen device does not need to be connected to the same circuit as SCP-520. SCP-521 The Post Box SCP-521 is a red post box like those used in the United Kingdom. When a letter is placed into SCP-521, it will be delivered along with any other mail within 24 hours. A number of undelivered letters are still inside SCP-521, all of which appear to date back to either the First or Second World War. SCP-522 Blood Draining Carpets SCP-522 is a patch of red carpet. When a human being steps on SCP-522, it will rapidly ensnare the human and drain all the blood from their body via protrusions from the carpet. After feeding, the carpet will open up and leave the drained husk behind. SCP-523 The most unhelpful object on Earth SCP-523 is an object with no discernible true form. It will change its form to become something that someone needs at that moment. When a user then attempts to use the item, it will change into something completely unusable. Documented cases include a scalpel turning into a chainsaw, water turning into gasoline, and a gun turning into keys. SCP-524 Walter the Omnivorous Rabbit SCP-524 is a rabbit that can eat anything including glass, concrete, radioactive waste, and even itself. After eating itself, it will reappear soon after. SCP-525 Eye Spiders SCP-525 are a collection of spider legs. They will seek out any large mammal and rush towards them at great speed. They will then carefully remove one of their eyes before incorporating it into the main mass, before then laying eggs in the victim's empty eye socket. SCP-526 Valhalla Gate SCP-526 is a collection of stone pillars on top of a hill covered in runes. Every day at sunrise, a collection of armed personnel will materialize. The nature of their armaments can range. One time, a group of Vikings with axes appeared. Another time, an MTF team appeared. At sunset, the personnel will all vanish, whether they be dead or alive. SCP-527 Mr. Fish SCP-527 is one of Dr. Wondertainment's Little Misters collection. It is a human with a fish head in place of a human head. SCP-528 Voodoo Putty SCP-528 is a product at the factory that resembles Silly Putty. When placed on the image of a person, that image will then appear on SCP-528. Actions taken towards the putty will then apply to the pictured person. For example, submersing the putty in boiling water will cause the actual person whose image is on the putty to melt. SCP-529 Josie the Half Cat SCP-529 is a grey domestic house cat whose body stops just past the ribcage. Despite the absence of the other half of its body, SCP-529 walks around as if it has hind legs. Viewing the cross section of SCP-529 reveals a black void. SCP-530 Carl the Variable Dog SCP-530 is a dog whose form is always in a state of change. It will constantly grow and shrink, change its coat, and grow additional limbs. It is friendly and is allowed to wander the lower levels of the facility freely. SCP-531 Paired Brass Guard Cats 
SCP-531 are several brass feline statues. While a pair face each other across a corridor, they produce a psychological effect that will prevent anyone from going any further down that corridor. If one of them is removed, both statues will produce another effect that will cause a person to look into the statue's eyes. Prolonged exposure will cause the viewer to mutate into another SCP-531 statue. SCP-532 Frostbug SCP-532 is a pathogenic bacteria that thrives in cold temperatures. It floats around in the upper atmosphere before descending down to the troposphere when it detects warmer temperatures. If it makes contact with organic matter, it will locally freeze the area and begin multiplying. If it gets into the bloodstream, it will begin freezing the internal organs and circulatory system. SCP-533 Snake Necklace SCP-533 is a necklace that takes the form of a snake. It has two golden clasps at each end that attach to one another, so SCP-533 may be worn as a necklace. The snake itself is always moving and appears to enter one end and come out of the other with no discernible end or beginning of the body. An estimated 12,000 kilometers of snake body has appeared from one end of the necklace and disappeared into the other while the object has been in Foundation custody. SCP-534 Misplaced Blood SCP-534 are a series of body cells that have increased several hundred times in size. SCP-534-1 are large red blood cells. SCP-534-2 are large white blood cells. And SCP-534-3 are platelets. Due to their size, direct contact with Dash-1 will result in oxygen oversaturation. Direct contact with Dash-2 will result in the subjects being slowly eaten alive. And direct contact with Dash-1 and Dash-3 simultaneously will result in clots covering the body leading to suffocation. SCP-535 Communicative Beaker SCP-535 is a glass beaker. When any liquid is poured into it, it will be turned into a translucent white liquid with the consistency of mercury. The liquid has the ability to transfer information. For example, pouring the liquid from the beaker onto a computer and then from that computer onto another computer will copy all the data from the first computer to the second one. SCP-536 Physical Law Testing Chamber SCP-536 is a chamber that can be used to experiment with the fundamental physical constants of the known universe. SCP-537 Singing Gramophone SCP-537 is a gramophone that can communicate with people via songs. It can hear and see, though it is not known how. Regardless of any vinyl placed under its needle, it can play any song it wants to at will. If actions are taken that upset SCP-537, it will continue to play music louder and louder until it is brought back to containment. SCP-538 Shadow Spiders SCP-538 are animate shadows of a species of spider. They will feed on the shadows of living animals. The process is harmless to the actual host, however sudden movements can startle SCP-538, causing them to attack and bite the host. Bites will lead to the complete liquidation of the host, followed by their shadows turning into copies of SCP-538. SCP-539 The Perfect Distraction SCP-539 is a corroded disc of unknown material. When it is thrown, a random event will occur that will immediately draw all attention away from the thrower. SCP-540 Tannenbombs SCP-540 is a collection of Soviet-made explosive devices. When detonated, plants will begin to grow over the damaged area around 30 seconds after detonation. SCP-541 Living Thoracic System SCP-541 was a full set of intact and alive human thoracic organs. Following extensive experimentation by the Foundation, SCP-541 died in their custody. SCP-542 SCP-542 is the Foundation's very own Frankenstein monster. 
It is a very tall lumbering man of German descent. When an organ begins to fail, he can perform surgery on himself to replace it. His body will not reject any organ and accepts all blood types. SCP-543 Noise SCP-543 is a collection of VHS tapes that appear to show only white noise. After prolonged viewing, however, images will begin to appear that will compel viewers to shove their heads into the TV. SCP-544 The New Voice SCP-544 is a handheld radio microphone. When a person holds it for long enough, the microphone will begin to speak for them. If someone tries to remove the microphone from the holder, it will produce a deafening tone intended to incapacitate those trying to remove it. SCP-545 Liquid Life SCP-545-1 is an elderly woman of around 800 years old. Despite her age, her body functions show no signs of degradation and appears to be in perfect health. SCP-535-2 is a colourless liquid that prolongs a person's life. Continuously drinking SCP-535-2 would in theory make a person immortal. SCP-535-3 is a manuscript that instructs a person on how to acquire SCP-535-2. SCP-546 A Notebook SCP-546 is a spiral-bound notepad of lined paper. If a person writes any word or phrase on it, over the course of 24 hours they will slowly become unable to communicate anything else other than the phrase or word they wrote down. SCP-547 The Cartesian Business Card SCP-547 is a standard white business card with a phrase written on one side. Anyone who reads or understands this phrase will have their personality and awareness of self completely removed over the next 10 weeks. SCP-548 Ice Spider SCP-548 is a blue female tarantula. Its bite causes an endothermic reaction. Localized frostbite will occur almost immediately upon contact with SCP-548's venom. Should the venom get into the circulatory system, death is very likely. SCP-549 Ursa Minor SCP-549 is a product of Dr. Wondertainment. It is a grizzly bear in miniaturized form. Despite its small size, it still exerts the same strength, has the same mass, and can eat the same amount of food as a fully sized bear. SCP-550 The Ghoul SCP-550 is an animate humanoid composed of wood shavings. It feeds on human corpses by opening up a cavity in its chest and dissolving the corpse with hydrochloric acid before absorbing the dissolved tissue into the chest cavity to be used as nutrients. SCP-551 Impossible Puzzle SCP-551 is a jigsaw puzzle that cannot be completed. SCP-552 Ahead of His Time SCP-552 is an adult human male. SCP-552 does not perceive his surroundings as how they are, but how they will be in the near future. SCP-553 Crystalline Butterflies SCP-553 are an organism resembling butterflies made of silicate and quartz. When a colony of SCP-553 is in danger, or if one of their colony is damaged by an attacker, they will swarm at the aggressor and slice them with their wings. SCP-554 The Perfect Murder SCP-554 is a structure that cannot be entered by any means. It is supported by two concrete beams beneath it. Between these two beams is a dead body wrapped in plastic refuse bags. If anyone views the body, they will vanish as soon as they are out of line of sight of any other individual. All electronic and written records of the subject will be purged, and their body will replace the body that was underneath SCP-554. During the process, sounds of machinery can be heard coming from within the SCP-554 structure. SCP-555 Corpse Magnet SCP-555 is a magnet that only attracts dead or necrotic human tissue. This includes hair, lost fingernails, 
and shed skin cells. SCP-556 Painted Aircraft SCP-556 is the wreckage of a crashed plane. The plane was transporting paintings at the time of the crash. The interior is nearly completely covered in paint and the flight crew appear to have been trapped within the painting. SCP-557 Ancient Containment Site SCP-557 is an ancient abandoned sandstone containment site from before 2000 BC. It leads down to several layers, all dedicated to the containment of different anomalous entities. Skeletons of current SCPs were found down there, as well as a tomb that an unknown entity appears to have broken out of only 20 years prior. SCP-558 Strange Contact Lenses SCP-558 are a collection of contact lenses. They will adjust to fit any eye and will immediately grant the user 20-20 vision. All the lenses have a different colour which corresponds to a different effect, such as infrared vision and enhanced peripheral awareness to name a couple. SCP-559 Birthday Time SCP-559 is a vanilla birthday cake. When any number of candles are lit, they can only be blown out by someone whose birthday it is on that day. After doing so, their age will change to reflect the number of candles on the cake for 24 hours. SCP-560 Bitwise Amoeba SCP-560 is a digital life form that can easily be mistaken for a virus or a piece of malware. It will absorb data from whatever storage device it is contained within and then excrete it as corrupted images or files. SCP-561 A Passive Rip in Time SCP-561 is a localised rip in time that causes all the plant and animal life within its area of effect to produce offspring akin to various species that existed just before the most recent Ice Age. SCP-562 Revel Rousers SCP-562 begins in online chat rooms. A user, who goes by a number of names, will contact another user and persuade them to go to a party. If the user agrees, they will be transported to the party the next time they walk through a door. The bodies are recovered four to eight years later, suffering from massive organ failure. SCP-563 An Abandoned Farm in China SCP-563 is a now abandoned factory farm and plot of land that bred, killed and sold dinosaurs for use as food products. While this farm is now abandoned, the products are still in circulation from another unknown location. SCP-564 Incomplete Primitive Cyborg SCP-564 is a sentient female cyborg who claims to have been a human being before being converted. She has very limited movement and, unless instructed to, will remain immobile. SCP-565 Ed's Head SCP-565 is an ambulatory male human head that moves in a similar manner to a crab. It extends several unfurled tendrils of brain matter out of a crush wound at the neck and uses them to walk. While it currently remains alive and does require regular feeding, it is slowly decomposing and will most likely die soon. SCP-566 Word a Day SCP-566 refers to a set of Word a Day 2009 tear-off desk calendars. When a person taps the bold word on any page, the definition of the word will suddenly appear on the same page. SCP-567 The Dungeon SCP-567 is located in the dungeon beneath Site-41, consisting of eight cells. With the majority of people, nothing happens. When certain conditions of a person are met, however, shackles will launch out of the cell, trap the person, and then pull them into the cell. The shackles and subjects will disappear once the door closes. Conditions include rape, theft, and murder with various tools. Periodically, an aggressive entity will break out of one of these cells. SCP-568 Dismemberment Strap SCP-568 is a white leather strap. When one side connects to the other and is then wrapped around an object, 
Turning the strap and object like a screw will cause the object to detach. Detached objects can be reattached by simply twisting the objects in the other direction. SCP-569 Heads SCP-569 appear to be a collection of 46 animate marble disembodied floating human heads. Most of the time, they just float in a group 10 meters off the ground. When they perceive a threat, they will spray a colored substance over the aggressor from their mounts. This substance then hardens into marble, encasing the aggressor in a hard shell. SCP-570 Puppet Show Gloves SCP-570 is a pair of cotton gloves. If a person wears them, the gloves will extend threads through the skin and latch onto the muscle systems. If a subject then touches another person, strands will then extend into that person as well. The initial subject will then have complete control over the second subject. SCP-571 Self-Propagating Infectious Pattern SCP-571 is a complex pattern of lines and scribbles with an anomalous mimetic effect. When a person views it, they will attempt to copy it with any stationery they can find. Once they complete the task, they will show it to someone else who will then also attempt to copy it and so the process continues. The longer a subject goes without infecting another person, severe mental degradation will begin to take place, ultimately resulting in complete cerebellum inactivity. SCP-572 Katana of Apparent Invincibility SCP-572 is a poor quality katana sword. Despite its inadequacy for any form of combat, any person holding it will become convinced they are invincible until the sword is taken out of their possession. Subjects will believe they can cut through sustained gunfire, cars and other swords, all of which result in the wielder sustaining injury. SCP-573 The Pied Pipe SCP-573 is a flute made from the femur bone of a female child. When played, it places animals and prepubescent children into a highly receptive state. Both the children and the animals will attempt to do anything the player demands, even if they are physically incapable of doing so. SCP-574 The Dropra House SCP-574 is a building that changes its outward appearance but internally resembles a derelict factory. When a person enters the building and explores, the floor will suddenly give way causing the subject to fall into a pool of acidic wet cement. The subject will slowly sink and drown. If three or more subjects are consumed within a month, additional buildings will begin to appear. SCP-575 Predatory Darkness SCP-575 is an unknown form of matter which only exists in darkness. It can manifest at will in any dark areas, in the light it dissipates. It grows in size by consuming organic matter. It does this by solidifying parts of its matter into limbs to bludgeon, crush and tear at its victims before absorbing their flesh, leaving behind only the bones. SCP-576 Sleep Well SCP-576 is a glass bottle containing a self-replenishing clear liquid. When a person drinks it and then goes to sleep, they will experience vivid dreams based on significant memories. SCP-577 All Alone in the Moonlight SCP-577 is a mass of multi-caliber bullets that spin in the air and occasionally take the form of animals. The mass is extremely hostile towards Foundation staff and D-Class with previous history involving law enforcement with the bullets firing at them. However, SCP-577 acts in a friendly manner towards D-Class that have either been homeless or spent time in prison. SCP-578 Blood Opals SCP-578 is a colorless, odorless liquid. When it makes contact with human blood, it will rapidly diffuse before causing a clotting cascade. This progresses until an opal is constructed with human blood trapped inside, giving it a blood red hue. SCP-579 Data Expunged SCP-579 has no description. The entire document is pretty much completely expunged with the only parts not expunged pertaining to its containment and procedures should it escape containment. 
SCP-580 Shi Huang Ti's Five Heaven Chariot SCP-580-1 is a silk and wood zeppelin ostensibly constructed during the reign of Shi Huang Ti in China. These zeppelins can be found between the moon and the sun and contain 40 terracotta warriors, all skilled in martial arts and with bladed weapons. Why the leader decided to commission such an expedition is unknown. SCP-581 The Equestrian Soul SCP-581 is a horse's nosebag made from leather. Any domesticated equine subject within 500 meters can be considered an instance of SCP-581-1. SCP-581-1 are the same subjects, for example a horse, but they have a compulsion to put on the nosebag. Should a subject put on the nosebag, they will attempt to act like a human. SCP-582 A Bundle of Stories SCP-582 is an adaptive, self-propagating meme. SCP-582's primary ability is passive reality modification. Any fictional account written about SCP-582 will become a factual record of a manifestation of the entity in which SCP-582 will carry out all actions attributed to it in the narrative. SCP-583 Deathly Videotapes SCP-583 is a videotape containing a small segment of Sesame Street Live. The video shows four of the characters dying from asphyxiation. From that point on, the subject will begin suffering from a unique perception disorder. They will permanently witness the similar death of every character, fictional or not, that they see on TV or in a movie, hear on radio, or read about, whether printed or in electronic formats. SCP-584 Many Fingers, Many Toes SCP-584 is a highly infectious viral pathogen that promotes the growth of additional appendages. For example, more toes growing on the feet and more hands growing on the arms. While not lethal, it can lead to severe disfigurement. SCP-585 Sharpeners SCP-585 is a product of the factory. SCP-585 are plastic pencil sharpeners. Continuously using SCP-585 will continuously sharpen the pencil to a ridiculously sharp point. At 30 rotations, a pencil dropped from 1 meter embedded itself by 10 centimeters into a solid steel bar. After 60 rotations, a pencil penetrated 50 meters of bedrock. SCP-586 Inscribable Object SCP-586 is a small metallic green object that causes typos in any sentence written about it. SCP-587 A Model System SCP-587 is a model railroad. All the scenery and the buildings and the people are all handcrafted and are all fully functional, even the people. The town portion of the model is populated by 1,270 living individuals identical to human beings other than their 19.5mm height. Unless an object makes physical contact with the model, the civilians will not notice it. For example, inhabitants will not notice researchers standing over and looking down on them, but will notice any dandruff falling from them onto the model. SCP-588 A Ferocious Coin SCP-588 is an American 25 cent piece. The head of George Washington can move around the piece and will feed on any organic matter it can reach, up to a maximum of one gram per feeding. SCP-589 The Price of Obsession SCP-589 is a stuffed animal that changes its appearance to that of one desired by the subject. Looking at or coming into contact with SCP-589 will promote feelings of euphoria that soon become extremely addictive, leading to obsessive behavior. Periodically, SCP-589 and any copies or photos will vanish for a period of time. Those affected by the obsessive addiction will go through exceptionally severe withdrawal symptoms. It is theorized that SCP-589 feeds on the subject's mental anguish. SCP-590 He feels your pain. SCP-590 is a teenage boy that the Foundation has imprisoned for his healing abilities. 
One touch will heal any injury, be it physical or mental. However, the injury or ailment will instead manifest on SCP-590. He is fed a protein-based gruel, cannot leave the site for any reason, and has been made to heal several cases of retardation, reducing his mental capacity to that of a three-year-old. SCP-591 Dr. Wondertainment Pretendo SCP-591 refers to a line of video game consoles originally developed as a counterfeit of the Nintendo Entertainment System. They were later bought by Dr. Wondertainment. When a compatible game is inserted into SCP-591 and activated, it creates a minimized and isolated CK-class reality restructuring scenario that resembles the game's intended content, with the gamer playing the lead character. Due to degradation in the electrical components, there is a chance that these CK events can result in isolated ZK reality failure scenarios. SCP-592 Inaccurate History Book SCP-592 is a history book documenting the history between 1900 to 1995. Once it gets to 1956, the history is completely wrong and fabricated, though anyone reading it will believe it to be completely true. The further a person reads past 1956, the more their body and behaviour will change. These changes range from confusion to homicidal and suicidal behaviour. SCP-593 Contagious Innumeracy SCP-593 is a contagious virus that at first presents symptoms like that of the measles virus. As the infection progresses, it begins to destroy the part of the brain that deals with numbers and mathematics. This ultimately results in survivors being unable to distinguish the difference between 1 and 2. SCP-594 Electric Sheep SCP-594 are a flock of feral sheep. They are extremely aggressive and territorial, and possess the unique ability to generate a substantial amount of static electricity simply by the friction caused during daily activities. The charge is discharged randomly and has been recorded in excess of 1000 amps per arc flash. SCP-595 Teleporting Destroyer SCP-595 is a cannon-class destroyer escort commissioned by the USS in 1942. Several devices on the ship give off massive amounts of electrical radiation. During a radiation burst, the ship can teleport to another location. Personnel within its radius of effect might also be teleported with it, though they may not end up at the same destination as SCP-595. SCP-596 Cursed Regeneration Statue SCP-596 is a bronze snake statue. If a person touches it, they will be unable to release it until someone else touches it. While in contact with the statue, they will rapidly heal from any injury. If the subject is surgically removed from SCP-596, they will die and a copy of them will grow out of the severed body part. SCP-597 The Mother of Them All SCP-597 is a blob of flesh covered in teats. Any animal exposed to SCP-597 will be drawn to it and begin suckling. The milk produced appears to be able to sustain the animal indefinitely. This suckling behaviour will become addictive. SCP-598 Sentient Colour SCP-598 is an intelligent telepathic shade of yellow, covering the whole of the inside of its cell. It enjoys having mental conversations about music, art, and science. It is neither malevolent nor technically alive, as it is not a physical organism. SCP-599 Uncharted City SCP-599 is a small city that cannot be found on any map nor any road that leads to it. It is occupied by about 700 civilians, all of which are actually people who have gone missing from nearby towns and cities. The civilians will encourage people to stay and live there. Those who decline will be met with hostility from the occupants of the city. And that concludes SCPs 500 to 599. I hope you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Next time will be SCP-001 When Day Breaks, Ikea. That one will be out in a couple of weeks. 
Be sure to follow all the social media outlets for video updates, check out the SCP Illustrated shop for posters and prints, all the links can be found below. And if you can't wait days and weeks for new material, then consider joining the Patreon or becoming a channel member for early video access, seal the sketches early, get Discord access, request your own SCPs, and so much more. And thank you to Dan Foster, Lazy Bone, Blake Duckworth, Chris Ford, Horizons, Andre, Tiger Shark, Hithel, Exalted Galaxy, Andy98, Generals Alert, JT Walker, SCP-106A, Rick Trexon, and Sam B. Big thanks to the council members, the Cheesity, Seeker, Steamy, Hunter Killer, Lenhox, Captain Core, and Kibara. And huge thanks to the administrators, Lightning Fire, Savage, Overwatch, Quill, Viger, Kamana, and Zanan. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon, and take care.